I haven't seen anyone take advantage of this like 10 minute feature and make like sit down videos, but I figured I would try it. So um, no one judge me or anything. <laughs> This video is going to be about uh, tips for college. That's basically the premise of this video. Um, the experience that I have is I am currently entering my final semester at college, or of college I guess, and um, I lived in a dorm for four years, I uh, was a student athlete, I um, had a job for a lot of the time too so um, I definitely have a little bit of experience and of course anyone is welcome to reach out to me on Instagram if they have any questions but these are just some tips that I thought I would tell you if you're starting college or you're going back to college or just you know if you want to watch this for fun you know that's cool too but yeah okay uh, first tip number one uh, get your assignments done early okay uh, no one talks about how valuable this is um, the first week of classes is usually just like introducing yourself, um, starting with like discussions where you talk about where you're from, what you're studying. Get the beginner level because I know like um, if you're taking like a harder class, you know, getting that like first, you know, grace of like not necessarily doing like hard work yet. Um, the first two weeks, like just get everything done, you know, like make it, I would make it a goal when I was in school. Um, and I would take like more difficult classes in my undergrad, like earlier years, um, I would uh, get like the first month done in like the span of like a week and a half. And then if I kept doing that, then I had like a month and a half to study for finals. So I would recommend doing that. Uh, that's my number one tip to people, especially if you're an athlete and you're traveling a lot, this helps. The next thing is to go to bed at around the same hour every single night, um, if not to get at least six to seven hours of sleep. I know um, the National Sleep Foundation says like, oh, you should get nine hours of sleep every single night. If you're living in a dorm and you have a roommate and you, you're not gonna get nine hours of sleep every single night, unless you do, and good for you if you do, but um, get six to seven hours of sleep or at least go to bed at the same time every day. And this next tip is more for like dorm life. Um, there are probably some freshmen that have just moved in or sophomores or whoever, um, you've probably moved in and thought, I brought way too much stuff. And that's totally fine. If you're new at living away from home, that is totally fine if you make that mistake. Um, what I recommend is after like a month and a half, mail back what you don't use, what you don't wear, clothes that, you know, didn't really work with, you know, your day-to-day outfits and stuff just send those stuff back or give them away to people if you have like an appliance that you you know don't really use that much and you're not using it and you don't think you're gonna need it again just go ahead and uh put it in your like university's like common room and i guarantee and put a little note that says like please take um you know hardly used and that way someone else can use it that really might need it. I forgot to mention this with the assignments, but a really, a really good way to track um, your progress in your, in your classes is to download like Excel or Sheets, school sheets, and um, to make two columns, three if you want like a little check mark thing, um, but do two columns. One of them is like assignments and then the next one is due dates. Uh, write down all of the assignments that you have to get done for the semester and you can make like several sheets for classes But I like to do like one giant like sheet of everything that I need to get done for the semester and I like to color code it by classes um, And that way I can like, you know, if it's like October or something I can like look and see like, okay, I'm you know More than halfway done with the semester. Look how much I have left, you know um, and then you can like check them off on the sides um but that's a really good way for me to just kind of see how much I have left. Next tip is not very popular and um, it's not said enough, I don't think, but um, don't buy textbooks from the bookstore unless you have absolutely no other way to get the textbook. And also don't get the textbook if you don't need it. I really recommend asking like uh, juniors and seniors that have possibly taken the class if you even need the book um, and then you can even, sometimes you can even ask the professor like, hey, are we gonna be using this book very often? And they can tell you, you know, uh, yes, we're gonna be using it very often or no, I'm gonna be honest, we don't use it very often. But um, yeah, I, uh, if you want to buy textbooks, uh, look literally 
everywhere else first. Look at the library, um, look at Amazon, look at, you know, just look at everything. And yeah, they're like hundreds of dollars. Don't waste your money if you don't need to. My next one is to practice safe sex. Um, I don't care what decisions you make. I don't care who you're with, but um, definitely just make good decisions for your health and your partner's health. So practice safe sex, use protection. This next one's kind of a weird one, but don't get a pet in college. And I'm not saying like, and this is not talking about like ESAs or service animals. That is like a completely different, like if you need your animal for your health and your well being, then get your animal and make, I want you to make sure that you have that. But I'm talking about like if your dorm doesn't necessarily have strict rules when it comes to pets and you're just like, I'm lonely, I'm gonna get a cat. Maybe that's not the best decision because the dorm lifestyle doesn't really cater to animals. Um, so maybe think twice about getting an animal because um, if they get sick or something, the vet bills can get very, very expensive. So I would hate for you to get stuck in a situation where it's like, just hard, just don't get an animal if you don't need it, you know? Next thing is gonna be to make sure that you use what your college is paying for. Like, so you'd be surprised like how many colleges have like writing centers and tutoring centers and um, gyms that don't even require like a membership, like it comes with your student fees. Um, and then like you can use like resources like technology and stuff that you can like rent out like because it's just a part of your fees so make sure you know what you're getting and um also i'd recommend at the beginning of the semester um to talk to your financial advisor and be like hey what can i opt out of because i know for some people that don't that have the luxury of not having to worry about paying for college you know this is not necessarily for you but if you want to like save some money then i recommend just calling and being like what can I opt out of, you know? Because college is expensive. The next thing is to make a budget and to kind of stick with it. Give yourself, you know, don't be too hard on yourself. You're still really young. It's okay to make financial decisions that are not the best, you know, that's okay. But um, definitely try and like see what you want to spend your money on. If you're someone who um, has a meal plan, then use your meal plan. Don't go buy groceries if you have a meal plan. I cannot... I, I don't get people who like have a meal plan yet they want to buy like a full cart of groceries. It doesn't make any sense. You are consuming, you are purchasing so much food and you don't need to, okay? But um, that's for, that's a separate issue. We're almost done with our tips, but um, one of the next things I'm going to tell you is to get a student, uh, a work study job. Um, I definitely recommend this to a lot of people, even if like... Um, you are financially like comfortable it definitely um kind of expands your horizons a little bit and you get to like meet people in your university and stuff and um get you a little bit of pocket money you know um that could go towards gas or meals or just like nights out with friends and stuff like that um and you'd be surprised how good some states minimum wages are if you are like an out-of-state person it's interesting to look at the minimum wage because i'm from texas and i go to a school in new mexico and when i was living there i had a work study job and i got 12 dollars an hour contrary to texas where i get seven and a half dollars an hour thank you guys for watching that's literally it i don't have anything else planned um that is literally everything that i can think of now uh of course it, anyone who wants to comment more suggestions um, I highly recommend doing that, um, but thank you so much for watching, um, and I will see you later.